Introducing the new Frame.io contribution workflow in Kino. Kino, known for its extensive onset and post-production workflow qualities, now allows to accelerate your workflow when working with the world's best video collaboration platform. This can be used for presenting dailies to team members or clients working remotely, contributing selected footage from a time-critical shoot as quickly as possible for subsequent editorial work, or any similar scenario you can come up with. And this is how it works. Your VJ, correspondent or production assistant goes through the rushes, selecting the right footage at the clip level or even at the subclip level to mark relevant content in long takes. They then select the logged footage they want to transfer to the respective Frame.io project and select Deliver to Frame.io in Kino's context menu. They enter a name for this delivery and we will show later how that will be used. Then they press Start Delivery and they're done. Now Kino does all the heavy lifting in the background, preparing all data for delivery and uploading everything to Frame.io while you continue to work on other things. And this is the result within Frame.io. Here's the footage in the project and folder that was specified during upload and descriptions and markers have been translated to Frame.io metadata and comments. That's how easy it is, a solid foolproof contribution workflow. Now let's look at some of the details of what happened here. Let's go back to the delivery dialog and take a look behind the scenes. Create delivery folder lets you specify if the upload should automatically derive a folder from the title your contributor entered or the time and date or a combination of that to avoid collisions. Add descriptive metadata on by default, transfers Kino metadata like description to the Frame.io assets and adds Kino markers as Frame.io comments. The last option is the most powerful one as far as workflow flexibility is concerned. Send original files will send the media files as is. Send transcoded files will automatically transcode the files before upload, for example when you shot with ProRes 4K, but you deliver them for a news organization expecting XD Cam HD files. Send selected parts only will automatically export the subclips you marked within Kino and only send those. This can be a game changer for reducing the amount of footage at the source when bandwidth and time are critical. The savings can be enormous, especially when you have long takes, for example when using drones or doing interviews. As stated in the beginning, this can be used in many different scenarios, for example providing dailies to clients or team members, footage contribution from a network of VJs, for example at large events, or fast news gathering and contribution. A few other noteworthy things. This works with photos or exported still frames as well, which comes in handy for web or cross-media productions in general. Using Kino's built-in LUT support, you can also use this to show your clients perfectly looking previews of your log footage with no extra work.